Artificial intelligence is constantly evolving, and competition for dominance is fierce. While pushing the capabilities of the machines, we continue to make excellent progress. In this article, we look more closely at the most recent top secret AI that Google employed to destroy GPT-4. Buckle up because it's going to be an exciting adventure. It looks to be a huge week for artificial intelligence news. And that's ignoring the potential long-term repercussions that the failure of Silicon Valley Bank may have had on some artificial intelligence businesses and the venture capital funds supporting them. The much-anticipated GPT-4 model from OpenAI was published just as this newsletter was going to print. The new model is multimodal and only produces text as its output, but it also accepts both pictures and text as input. Data from OpenAI shows that GPT-4 outperforms GPT-3.5, its most recent model and the one that drives ChatGPT on various benchmark tests, including a battery of tests made for humans. For instance, GPT-4 performs well enough on a mock bar exam to rank in the top 10% of test takers. Additionally, according to OpenAI, GPT-4 is safer than GPT-3.5, since it provides more true responses and is much more difficult to convince to leap its guardrails than GPT-3.5 has been. However, the business also claims that the model has flaws. It will still have hallucinations and make up stories. And according to OpenAI, hallucinations may be a worse problem in certain respects because GPT-4 does this less frequently, which might lead to people becoming overconfident in the results it generates. GPT-4 uses a transformer-based design as its foundation. Transformers are a class of model architecture used in natural language processing that rely on mechanisms for self-attention. Because of this structure, the AI can comprehend the meaning and relationships of words in a phrase, regardless of where they are in the sentence. Translation, summarization, and other language understanding activities have all greatly benefited from the use of transformer models. The enormous scale of its model was one of GPT-4's distinguishing features. GPT-4 was, at the time, OpenAI's greatest language model, including an astounding 1 trillion parameters. An AI parameter may be viewed as a model component learned from previous training data. The model can learn and represent complex elements of the data it is trained on more effectively when there are more parameters, to better comprehend and produce text that resembles human speech in the setting of language models. But, as is sometimes the case in the technological world, GPT-4's dominance was not unopposed. Aiming to make fresh discoveries and maybe outperform GPT-4, ambitious efforts like Google's Secret AI have the throne as their objective. History demonstrates that each winner in the race of technology must hand the reins off to a more recent and sophisticated rival. And even a technical marvel like GPT-4 was not immune to this cycle of change. For some time now, DeepMind, a division of Alphabet Inc., the business that owns Google, has been making waves in the field of artificial intelligence. One of their most notable accomplishments was the creation of AlphaGo, a computer program that made news worldwide when it defeated the world champion of the challenging board game, Go. AlphaGo's triumph in 2016 was a historic occasion since it marked the first time an AI had beaten a Go champion. AlphaGo employed a variety of machine learning approaches, including reinforcement learning from games it played against itself and supervised learning from elite human games to accomplish this accomplishment. After then, DeepMind focused on resolving challenging scientific issues. They unveiled AlphaFold in 2020, an AI program that forecasts protein structure based on the amino acid sequence. This was a significant development since it tackled the protein folding problem, one of biology's most difficult and perplexing long-standing issues. Accurate protein structure prediction can greatly improve our knowledge of illnesses and open the door to novel medication discovery. Building on these achievements, DeepMind persisted in pushing the boundaries creating an AI that purportedly outperformed even OpenAI's extremely competent GPT-4. The new AI from Google is thought to have outperformed GPT-4 in a number of crucial areas, possibly including more effective self-supervised learning, improved transformer architecture, better context understanding, and more sophisticated multilingual text generation, though precise details are limited as of my knowledge cutoff in 2021. Additionally, it is still feasible to program the model to produce derogatory phrases, the size of the model GPT-4, the number of specialized graphics processing units required to train it, and the specific kind of data used are all unknown, according to OpenAI. It claims that keeping these specifics under wraps is important for both competitive and safety reasons. In the newsletter the following week, I'll undoubtedly write a great deal more on GPT-4. However, my immediate impression is that GPT-4 appears like a significant improvement over what OpenAI and others have been rushing to put into production over the previous two months not a fundamental leap forward. 
Google claims that customers will have access to two new associated features for both Vertex AI and the Generative AI App Builder. The first is an enterprise search engine that enables users to conduct Google searches across their own data, including data produced by CRM or ERP software, corporate websites and other documents, and return results solely from that knowledge base. As a result, there is less chance that the language model could just make up data or utilize its pre-training data instead of the customer's data when doing natural language tasks like summarization, sentiment analysis, or question answering. The second new feature allows users to deploy a conversational AI function that resembles a chatbot to serve as the user interface for these. According to a Google statement, some of the first trusted testers who will have immediate access to these new AI services include the Mayo Clinic, Toyota, Deutsche Bank, HCA Healthcare, and Equifax. The business declared that more customers would be able to use the products and services in the following weeks. Although Google was releasing these new products without having determined exactly how to price them, Thomas Kurian, the CEO of Google's cloud business, was forced to confess during the press conference that it was a measure of just how competitive the AI and technology race has become despite this. Google has announced a virtual try-on function and an improved search generative experience, two important developments in the field of AI. These developments are meant to improve user experiences and offer more customized and engaging solutions. Online clothing buying will undergo a transformation thanks to the virtual try-on option. It enables users to picture how clothing might appear on models of various sizes, shapes, and body types. Users may view an accurate portrayal of how a certain garment fits and appears on various body shapes by utilizing AI. This functionality might help with the difficulties of online purchasing, where clients frequently find it difficult to picture how things would appear to them. Users may enjoy a more immersive shopping experience and make more informed selections using the virtual try-on option. Google is improving both the virtual try-on features and the search generative experience. In the past, specific words or phrases might affect search engine results. On the other hand, Google's AI algorithms provide AI-generated responses tailored to each user's preferences, with a better search generative experience. Users may interact more naturally and informally with the search engine as a consequence. By comprehending context and personalizing responses, Google claims to provide users with more accurate and useful information while enhancing the efficiency and usability of information retrieval. Google's dedication to using cutting-edge technology to improve user interactions and address practical problems is seen in how AI has been included in both the virtual try-on function and the search generative experience. These developments might change how consumers use search engines and online clothing shopping by delivering more individualized and intuitive experiences. While the fashion industry is already using the virtual try-on option, it might also be used in other fields. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel if you appreciate learning more about the field of artificial intelligence today. We actively participate in technology's future, not just something that happens to us. Please share your thoughts on Google's secret AI and how you think it will impact our future in the comments section below.